Hello everyone! Welcome to Sir J Math World. So, ang topic natin ngayon ay tungkol sa 6 circular functions. So, before we proceed to our topic, huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe sa aking channel para updated ka sa mga math lessons na na-upload na ko. So, kung handa na kayo, let's proceed! Ang 6 circular function natin ay nag-stand kay sine theta is equal to y cosine theta is equal to x tan theta is equal to y over x or sine over cosine the cosecant is just only the reciprocal ng answer natin kay sine kaya mara tayong 1 over y ang secant is the reciprocal of the answer of the cosine kaya we have the 1 over x and cotangent is the reciprocal of the answer of the tangent so cotangent is x over y so kung may sagot na tayo ng sine, cosine, and tan nakasagot na tayo ng uh, cosecant, secant, and tangent kasi they are just only the reciprocal of the first three given. Ang example natin dito is find the six circular function of 60 degrees. So in this case, para bago natin mo kung yung circular function ng 60 degrees is kailangan natin i-convert ang ating given sa region. Then after natin i-convert sa region, makukuha natin yung kanyang coordinates. So, pag kinonvert natin ang given natin, we have the 60 degrees multiply by pi over 180 degrees. So, cancel yung degrees natin. This will be 60 pi over 180. So, pag sinimplify natin yung 60 pi over 180, magkakaroon lang tayo dito ng sagot na pi over 3. Then, kukunin natin yung coordinates ng pi over 3. Yung coordinates ng pi over 3, pi over 3, ang coordinates na ay, since ang denominator niya is 3, so titingin tayo dun sa, sa chart natin ng uh, 3, or multiples of pi over 3. So, ang kanyang coordinates ay magkakaroon tayo ng 1 half in the square root of 3 over 2. So, in this case, ito yung x, ito yung y. So, magkakaroon tayo dito ng pwede na natin gamitin or kunin natin yung 6 circular function. So, in this case, yung sine theta is equal to y, which is ang value ng y natin is the square root of 3 over 2. Then, yung cosine theta is equal to x which is 1 half then yung tangent theta is equal to uh, y over x or sine over cosine so magkakaroon tayo dito ng the square root of 3 over 2 all over 1 over 1 over 2 now since meron tayong uh, fraction over fraction, kailangan natin siyang isimplify. So, kapag sinimplify natin, this will be equal to the square root of 3 over 2 multiply by 1 over uh, 2 over 1. The reciprocal of the denominator. So, this is 2 over 1. So, this will be equal to, cancel out to, tapos magkakaroon tayo na the square root of 3 over 1 is equal to the square root of is not in the day which is equal to the square root of 3 kasi square root of 3 over 1 is still the square root of 3 next is since uh, pwede na tayong kumuha ng cosecant so ang cosecant natin is cosecant theta is equal to this only the reciprocal of the answer of the sine. So, magkakaroon tayo ng 2 over the square root of 3. So, apply rationalization kasi bawal ang square root sa baba. So, this is the square root of 3 over the square root of 3 is equal to 2 the square root of 3 over magkakaroon tayo ng the square root of 9 kasi 3 times 3 is 9 which is equal to to the square root of 3 over square root uh, ng 9 ay 3. So, that will be the final answer. Next, cosecant. 
cosine is 1 half, therefore, ang secant, theta natin is 2. Kasi, two, uh, reciprocal ng 1 half is 2, 2 over 1. Then, next is cotangent, theta. Cotangent is, ang sagot ni tan is the square root of 3. Ito yung sagot niya. So, therefore, magkakaroon tayo ng 1 over the square root of 3 as the reciprocal. Kasi, based on the original, it's the square root of 3 over 1 siya. So, again, bawal again yung uh, may square root sa baba. Kaya, rationalize natin. The square root of 3 over the square root of 3 is equal to the square root of 3 over the square root of 9. Is equal to the square root of 3 over the square root of 9 is 3. So, therefore, ito yung magiging sagot natin. The square root of 3 over 3. Okay, the next is find the 6 circular function of 23 pi over 6. So, in this case, so kung kukuha muna tayo ng coordinates ng 23 pi over 6, para gawin yan, magkakaroon tayo ng 23. Uh, this is 23 pi over 6. So, ang 23 pi over 6, pag dinibay natin, magkakaroon tayo ng 3 pi plus pi pi over 6. Yung 3 pi natin ay isang add. Kung pabalikan natin yung ating uh, multiples, ito yung magiging ating even, ito yung magiging add. So, kapag positive, that is counterclockwise. Kapag negative, ay clockwise. So, magkakaroon tayo dito ng uh, 3 pi. So, mag-start siya dito kasi siya ay isang add. Tapos, plus pi pi over 6 since the given is positive so kupo magiging clockwise siya so mapupunta siya dito so pag ginano natin clockwise siya so mapupunta siya sa quadrant 4 so yung 23 pi over 6 so para uh, before tayo or elaborate lang natin kung gusto nyo makuha yung coordinates na or maintindihan Balikan nyo yung lesson natin ng multiples. Hanapin nyo lang yung lesson ng multiples para maintindihan nyo yung paano siya naging uh, ganito. So, is equal to, uh, since belong siya sa quadrant 4, magkakaroon siya ng coordinates na the square root of 3 over 2 and negative 1 half. Ito yung x, ito yung y. So again, para makuha yung kanyang uh, coordinates, balikan nyo yung lesson natin ng multiples. Then, from here, magkakaroon tayo ng sine. Sine theta is equal to, yung y natin is negative 1 half. Then, cosine theta is equal to x, which is the square root of 3 over 2. Then, yung tangent, theta is equal to negative 1 half all over the square root of 3 over 2. This will be equal to negative 1 half times the reciprocal of the, of the denominator which is 2 over the square root of 3. So, cancel this. So, magkakaroon tayo ng sagot dito na uh, negative 1 over the square root of 3. Kaso, bawal ang ang um, square root of 3 sa baba or um, square root sa baba so that's why we have to apply rationalization so this will be the square root of 3 over the square root of 3 is equal to negative the square root of 3 over 3 times 3 is the square root of 9 is equal to negative the square root of 3 oh, ah, pliktad yung negative ay nasa labas so, this will be negative the square root of 3 over 3 as the final answer of the tan. Next is the sine. So, ang sine ay, ay cosecant rather. Cosecant theta is just only the reciprocal of the answer of the sine. So, since it's negative, ito ay negative 1 half. So, magkaroon tayo ng negative 2. Next is the secant theta. Ang secant theta natin ay to get the reciprocal. 
So, nga tayo ng 2 over the square root of 3. Since bawal yon, So, square root of 3 over the square root of 3. Is equal to 2 the square root of 3 over the square root of 9. Kasi 3 times 3 is 9. So, nga tayo ng 2 the square root of 3 over 3. Okay, the next we have here is the cotangent. So, cotangent theta is equal to reciprocal lang siya ng given natin ng tangent which is equal to 3 over or negative 3 the square root of 3. Since bawal yung square root sa baba, multiply lang tayo ng kanya or rationalize natin. So, multiply by the square root of 3 over 3. This will be equal to negative 3 the square root of 3 over square root of 9 is equal to negative 3 over the square root of 3 over square root of 9 is 3. So, cancel out. So, magkaroon tayo dito ng negative the square root of 3 as the answer of the cotangent. Okay, next is point the 6 circular function of negative 3,782 pi. So, disregard with the negative kasi wala naman itong over so, ang basis lang nito ay is, kung siya ba ay isang even or isang add. Since ang given natin na 2 is even, so, so yung 2 ay even, so magkakaroon tayo dito ng kanyang coordinates. So, negative 3, 7, 8, 2, pi. Ang magiging coordinates nyan ay isang 1 and 0 kasi siya ay isang even. So, ito yung x, ito yung y. So, magkaroon tayo dito ng sin theta is equal to sin theta is equal to y. This is 0. Then, cosine theta is equal to x which is 1. Then, tangent theta is equal to 0 over 1 is equal to 0. Then, the next is uh, sin cosecant theta is equal to uh, 1 over 0 so 1 over 0 this will be undefined then next is secant theta is equal to 1 over 1 still 1 then cotangent reciprocal of the given which is equal to 1 over uh, 0 still a undefined 